Hi there, Gear Sluts. My name is Robin. I'm with Leap Wing Audio, uh, and I want to talk to you about our plugins that we have, and I want to give you a quick demo and uh, show you what we do. So we currently have uh, three plugins uh, available for all, all DAWs. We have Dyn1, which is our multiband parallel compressor. We have Center1, uh, allowing you to change the level between left, center, and right on a stereo signal. So you have a full control, for much more than MS. Uh, to control your mix and we have our most recent one stage one which allows you to change width depth and mono spread which I will uh, show you in a second uh, so I have this track and I will uh, start off with showing the last one which is uh, stage one so when I hit play we have audio coming in and then we have width I'll first show you show you all and then explain it you were 18 calling me a fool yeah, we got some history, baby. When it was over, I was a nobody, and you were over, getting over me. This last one, the mono spread, I typically don't use 100% because on a master, you want to use it subtly. So I will explain all three functions. So we have a width, which actually um, takes whatever is not in the center and moves it further away from you. So whatever is on the side, a bit left or right, it pushes it to the side. So it is not MS where when you change the side, it actually collapses your mono. So it collapses your center signal. So we developed uh, a unique algorithm to actually leave the center intact, leave it as it is, but take whatever is on the side and push that further. Uh, so you can actually have more width, being fully mono compatible and not collapsing down when you're, when you're listening on mono. Then the second one you heard, which is depth, actually uh, allows you to give an extra sense of depth without it sounding like a huge reverb. So it actually looks at the signal where things are panned in the signal and then adds reflections based on what's already there and gives you a sense of space. And the idea is that it, it allows your mix to sound through the speakers and give that extra tail, that real classic depth that you want in a, in a really good recording. And then the third thing we have is mono spread. And what that does is it takes whatever is in the middle, so in the center of your stereo signal, and it allows you to make that wider. So it allows you to make that bigger. So essentially taking anything that is mono, uh, record a guitar, a vocal, a synth, and actually make it wider than it is, and being 100% mono compatible. So when you listen to on mono, it's gonna sound the same as the original recording. Uh, and that's also a really cool tool in mastering where you maybe have a lot of stuff happening in the middle and you can just spread it out a little bit, which is the reason I never use it to 100% unless it is on a single instrument, like a guitar or a vocal. Uh, I would definitely recommend uh, for you all to play with this and, and download a trial uh, and see what you think, um, think yourself. And yeah, also I would say check out our other plugins, Dyn1, the multiband parallel compressor, and center one, allowing you full manipulation of your stereo signal, uh, which is very useful in mastering, but also um, yeah, on a mix buzz, on a drum buzz, if you want to take whatever is in the, in the middle of the drums and take it up or lower without any phase issues. Great. Well, thanks, everybody, for, uh, for being there with us. Great. Thanks.